I'm Sarah from The Upcoming, such a pleasure to meet you. Um, so for people who aren't already familiar, can you tell us a little bit about what they can expect from The Sandman, but in particular your character? What they can expect from Sandman is something, I mean traditionally it looks dark, right? It's sold as being a dark thing. But it is just so layered and it really cuts through to the things that we're afraid of, of exploring in ourselves. There's something cathartic about seeing that play out in an imaginative way that makes us understand it. Because sometimes, you know, if you watch something very true to life, true crime, for example, assault or, or whatever, something dark, we get turned off because it's too much. But then when you put it in a story and in a style that is like this, but that comes from the heart, it's, I think it's a winner. Now for my character, her, her name's Kate Fletcher and she's in the 24-7 uh, episode. And, and um, yeah, we, my character goes through a lot of extremes because she's led there by David Chulis's character, Dr. D. Um, but then you also question, how much of it is someone leading you to do those things and how much of it is you going, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I ask myself that every day. <laughs> Toblerone? Really? Yeah, all right. <laughs> and, you know, what is it like having, to, having kind of graphic novels as the source material? Were you already familiar with them? And how much does that provide you with, like, clues to how you can develop your character, both in a visual sense, but also, you know, kind of from an emotional standpoint? Oh, well, no. I mean, it's the Bible. It's the Bible that is then entrusted to you for you to make your own. And how that marries itself is that because um, the graphic novels, A, it's also visual. Um, but it, it very make easily, very, it makes you very quickly understand what is going on. And it imagines it for you so that you can place yourself within it. Um, but then when you get on the set, and then it's different people, different energies. Um, I think it's it's just easy to do because so much of Neil's work is us raring to let it out, raring for us to express it. We can do all the bad shit and not have to pay the consequences for it, you know, or go through things that, you know. Um, we're afraid to, to unpack. Uh, my character is called Kate Fletcher, and it is a, it's a bit of a change from the actual visuals of the main novel. And, and my story is in the one called 24 7, which is well known as the darkest and scariest of, of the series in comics, actually. Traditionally, like the most freak out episode and you'll see why when you watch it. You have to watch it. Oh, okay. um, but, uh, so, so that's my character and, and it's uh, basically we go through extremes, a lot of extremes, as precipitated by David Schumann's character, Dr. D, when he uses the ruby. Darker, darker the, the things you have to do on set. It helps the oh, 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 I love you <laughs> You're going to meet a lot of comedians who off screen are serious. They reserve the energy. So, for us as well, because any heavy, dark stuff we have going on in our heads, we're able to express it in our work. We step off screen and we're just like. That must be so lovely. Joy, joy. Yeah. Yeah. And also, to be let out of the house during the lockdown, you're just like, I'm going to work. <laughs> Yeah. I've always said this, I've always said this. I want to be female, Russell Crowe in Gladiator. Asian Gladiator. But a story that rich, not just, ooh, Asian, they do come from. No, no, something, something that rich where, where, yeah. That's unapologetic for being strong. At the same time, it's not just strong. Because right now, with the wokeness, with the progressiveness, a lot of the characters that come away, they're just strong. That's it. As if everyone, anyone in life is just strong. We need to or, produce. Strangest dream I ever had was I was playing piano with Marlon Brando. And then 
that I flew. Power to control my dreams, it would involve Brad Pitt, Austin Butler from Elvis. Coming from my and, mind, also and, my favorite dream. <laughs> and, and maybe, maybe gladiators. <laughs>